السلام علیکم جو آج فیصلہ آیا ہے سپریم کورٹ کا پولیٹیشینس کے ووٹ کے حوالے سے جو عمران خان کی گورنمنٹ نے فائل کیا تھا سپریم کورٹ میں پریزیڈنٹ کے ذریعے سے کوشچنس آف لا تو وہ میں آپ کو ورڈ ٹو ورڈ پڑھ کے سناتا ہوں دیکھیں کہ اس میں کیا سپریم کورٹ نے کہا ہے یہ مختلف لائرس کے نام ہے جو مختلف پارٹیوں کو ریپرزینٹ کر رہے تھے اور صوبوں کی ریپرزینٹیشن بھی تھی یہ ڈیٹ آف ہیئرنگ ہے اور یہ آرڈر ہے تو جج صاحب لکھتے ہیں فار ڈیٹیل ریزنس ٹو بی ریکارڈ لیٹر ان سبجیکٹ ٹو واٹ از سیٹ آؤٹ دیر ان بائی وے آف ایمپلیفیکیشن اور ادر وائز بائی میجورٹی آف تھری ٹو ٹو جسٹس مدر عالم خان میاں کھیل اینڈ جسٹس جمال خان مندو کھیل ڈائسینٹنگ دیز میٹرز آر ڈسپوز آف ٹو گدر ان دا فالوئنگ ٹرمس نمبر ون دا فرسٹ کوشچن ریفرڈ بائی دا پریزیڈنٹ ریلیٹس ٹو دا پراپر اپروچ ٹو بی ٹیکن ٹو دا انٹرپریٹیشن اینڈ اپلیکیشن آف آرٹیکل سکس ٹو تھری اے آف دا کانسٹیٹیوشن این آور ویو دس پروویژن کے ناٹ بی رائڈ اینڈ اپلائڈ ان آئسولیشن اینڈ ان اے مینر ایز دو اٹ از الو فرام اور ان ڈفرینٹ ٹو واٹ ایور ایلس از پرووائڈیڈ ان دا کانسٹیٹیوشن نار کین آرٹیکل سکسٹی تھری اے بی انڈرسٹوڈ اینڈ اپلائڈ فرام دا وینٹیج پوائنٹ آف دا ممبر ہو ہیز اینڈ اپرابریم اینڈ فیسز لیگل سینشور ایز اے ڈیفیکٹر بائی ریزن آف ہیز ہیونگ ایکٹیڈ اور ووٹیڈ or abstain from voting in a manner contrary to what is required of him under clause 1 thereof. Rather, in its true perspective, this article is an expression in the constitution itself of certain aspects of the fundamental rights that inhere in political parties under clause 2 of article 17. The two provisions are intertwined in its essence. Article 63a functions to protect and ensure the continued coherence of political parties in the legislative arena. where they are the primary actors in our system of parliamentary democracy, which is one of the salient features of the constitution. Political parties are an integral aspect of the bedrock on which our democracy rests. Their destabilization tends to shake the bedrock, which can potentially put democracy itself in peril. Defections are one of the most pernicious ways in which political parties can be destabilized. Indeed, they can delegitimize parliamentary democracy itself, which is an even more deleterious effect defection rightly stand condemned as a cancer afflicting the body politic they cannot be countenanced number two point it follows that article 63a must be interpreted in a purposive and robust manner which accords with its spirit and intent ideally the article should not need to be invoked at all its mere existence a brooding presence should be enough put differently the true measure of its effectiveness is that no member of a parliamentary party ever has to be declared a defector. Article 63A should therefore be given that interpretation and application as accords with and is aligned as closely as possible to the ideal situation. The page and substance of Article 63A is to enforce the fundamental right of political parties under Article 17 that in particular in legislative arena the cohesion be respected and protected from unconstitutional and unlawful assaults, encroachments and erosion. It must therefore be interpreted and applied in a broad manner consistent with fundamental rights. It also follows that if at all there is any conflict between the fundamental rights of the collectivity, that is the political party and an individual member thereof, it is former that must prevail. The first question is answered accordingly. Turning in the second question, this is point here, turning in the second question and keeping in mind the answer to the first, it is our view that the vote of any member, including a deemed member, of a parliamentary party in a house in a house that is cast contrary to any direction issued by the letter in terms of para b of clause 1 of article 63a cannot be counted and must be disregarded and this is so regardless or whether the party head subsequent to such vote proceeds to take or refrains from taking action that would result in a declaration of defection the second question is referred to this court stands answered in the foregoing terms As regards the third question, it is our view that a declaration of defection in terms of Article 63A can be disqualification under Article 63. In terms of an appropriate law made by Parliament under Para P of Clause 1 thereof, while it is for Parliament to enact such legislation, it must be said that it is high time that such a law is placed on the statute book. If such legislation is enacted, it should not amount to a mere slap on the wrist, but must be a robust and proportionate response to the evil that it is designed to thwart and eradicate. The question stands answered accordingly. Fifth point, the fourth question referred to this court is stated in terms that are vague and too broad in general. It is therefore returned unanswered. Sixth, this short order disposes of pending matters under Article 186 as well as Article 184.3. 
what has been said herein above is to be read and understood as a simultaneous exercise of and thus relatable to both the jurisdiction that vests in this court under the said provision read also in the case of the latter with the jurisdiction conferred by article 187 chief justice saab ne ye isko kiya hai aur kuch judges jo hain wo unhone jaise i am not in agreement with the majority decision and have appended a separate note uh or a core i am also not in agreement with the majority decision i have an extra separate note aaj 17 mai ko ye announce ho gaya hai aur isko approve bhi kar diya gaya for reporting acha order mazhar alam khan mia khel and jamal khan mandu khel we have ye jo jinhone disagreement kiya mera khayal hai ye wo hain unke wo kya kehte hain we have had the privilege of going through the short order of our learned brothers for the reasons to be recorded it with respect with great respect we are not in agreement with the same Article 63A of the Constitution of Islamic Republic of Pakistan the constitution is a complete code in itself which provides a comprehensive procedure regarding defection of a member of the parliament and consequences thereof in case the election commission of Pakistan confirm, confirms the declaration sent by party head against a member he she shall cease to be a member of the house as a result therefore his thereof his or her seat shall become vacant a right of appeal to the, this court has also been provided under sub article 5 of article 63A of the constitution to either of the party aggrieved by the decision of the election commission any further interpretation of article 63a of the constitution in our view would amount to rewriting or reading into the constitution and would also affect the other provisions of the constitution which has not even been asked by the president through this reference therefore it is not our mandate we see no force in the questions asked through this presidential reference which are answered in the negative However, if the Parliament deems fit or appropriate, may impose further bar or restriction upon the defective. Similarly, Constitution Petitions Number Two and Nine of 2022 are dismissed. <coughs> so, majority vote, which is uh, order of the bench, has been passed. Which, 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 ये था वो फैसला जिस पे फिर सारे पीटीआई वाले छलांगे मार रहे हैं कि जी हमारे हक में फैसला आ गया तो इसमें जो मेन पॉइंट है वो ये है कि ये उन्होंने पहले पॉइंट में एक्सप्लेन कर दिया कि जी ऐसे ऐसे है नंबर टू पॉइंट में उन्होंने कहा कि कि जी वो कोई लॉ बनाए पार्लियामेंट उसके मुताबिक अच्छा नंबर थ्री पॉइंट में उन्होंने कहा कि जी ये नंबर थ्री इम्पोर्टेंट टर्निंग टू द सेकंड पर्सन कीपिंग इन माइंड द आंसर टू द फर्स्ट इट इज आवर व्यू दैट द वोट ऑफ एनी मेंबर ऑफ अ पार्लियामेंट्री पार्टी इन अ हाउस दैट इज कास्ट कॉन्ट्ररी टू एनी डायरेक्शन इशूड बाय द लेटर इन टर्म्स ऑफ पैरा बी एफ क्लॉजेस कैन नॉट बी काउंटेड एंड मस्ट बी डिसरिगार्डेड तो ये मतलब ये हो गया कि जो लोग अपनी पार्टी छोड़ के दूसरी पार्टी के हक में या अपनी पार्टी के खिलाफ वोट देंगे उस वोट को काउंट ही नहीं करना चाहिए और उसको डिसरिगार्ड कर देना चाहिए एंड दिस इज सो रिगार्डलेस ऑफ वेदर द पार्टी हेड सब्सिक्वेंट टू सच वोट प्रोसीड्स टू टेक और रिफ्रेन फ्राम टेकिंग एक्शन दैट वो रिजल्ट इन डिक्लेरेशन और डिफेक्शन तो ये इस तरह से होना चाहिए कि चाहे वो पार्टी का हेड बाद में डिसाइड करे या ना डिसाइड करे उसके खिलाफ किसी एक्शन का लेकिन उसको काउंट नहीं होना चाहिए तो ये एक नई बात ऐसी कर दी लेकिन ये इन्होंने उस रेफरेंस से किया था अदम एतमाद के हवाले से तो उसमें तो जो पीटीआई के लोग हैं उनको तो आ, उन लोगों के तो आ, जो है अगर वोट कैंसिल हो जाएंगे तो ये तो एक बड़ी जो है वो सिचुएशन क्रिएट हो जाएगी तो अल्लाह ताला आसानियां करे पाकिस्तान के लिए और पाकिस्तान के हक में बेहतर करे